Throughout the series, we've covered locomotives, but what about rolling stock? Well, for the first time in Bite Size Oddities, we're going to be talking about a piece of rolling stock from none other than the famous Amtrak. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. Amtrak's passenger cars have seen its fair share of variety. From the Heritage fleet to the Am fleets, the towering superliners to the upcoming Iro cars, there is quite a good amount of variety for Amtrak rolling stock. During a brief time in the 2000s, however, Amtrak experimented with a self-serve restaurant concept for some of their Midwestern services. And it came to be known as the Automat. An Automat is a restaurant where food and drinks are served by vending machines, and usually, staff are not accompanied with these automats, unless it's to restock products. The concept of the automat has been tried in the United States over the years, and has been adapted for passenger rail a few times before Amtrak. First, there was the Pennsylvania Railroad in 1954 for use on the Northeast Corridor, and the Southern Pacific in 1962 for use on the Coast Daylight and Sunset Limited. Amtrak would experiment with the concept in 1985, when they converted four old heritage diners into automats for use on the auto train. But how are the cars on the inside? Well, the first half of the car had ten full-size tables, while the other side had three similar tables, with electric outlets under most of the tables. The cars provided a good amount of room to eat, play, or work in peace. Many vending machines in the room had sandwiches, snacks, and canned or cupped drinks alongside hot chocolate and coffee. Alongside the vending machines were two microwaves, condiment dispensers, and a sink. A person on Trainweb wrote about his experience on the Automat, and he noted a few flaws about the passenger car, such as the lack of alcoholic beverages, lack of a live attendant, which could be a result of the car being put on trains of low ridership, the sandwich machines being mostly empty, and the machines not getting refilled most of the time. These drawbacks could have been a result of cost-cutting and lack of customers on the service, as the cafe cars proved to be more efficient and had more desirable options than the Automat. Most of these cars would be retired in the 1990s, although car 8601 would be kept in service into a new millennium, with its last days in service being on the Lake Country Limited, with the car being retired in 2001. The car would be later moved to the Whippany Railway Museum in New Jersey, and has since disappeared under private ownership, with its current whereabouts being unknown. While the Automat concept has seen success in other countries, some examples in America haven't fared well due to lack of business, which likely could have been why Amtrak's Automat wasn't a success. <laughs> 